The space weather may be quieting down, but the quiet won't last. We have another solar storm on the way. Will it affect you? That story and more in the shorty this week. Space weather this week has definitely calmed down compared to last week. We're still dealing with the influence of this remnant coronal hole that's been rotating through the Earth's strike zone. Most of it has been kind of little pockets of fast solar wind, but we're about to get a really well-formed part of this coronal hole rotating into the Earth's strike zone. That's going to send us some more fast wind, and it could easily bump us back up to storm conditions. So aurora photographers, especially you guys at high latitudes, you're going to continue the aurora love this week. So make sure you keep sending in those field reports. Now, amateur radio operators and emergency responders, you guys are also uh, in the luck because we do have a bright region that is rotating uh, through the Earth-facing disk right now. It has bumped up the solar flux and is keeping it at the hairy edge of low for uh, marginal radio propagation. So this is good news because this will continue easily through the next week. And then we have another region on the sun's backside. So as this one rotates out of view, another one will rotate in view, and it should keep that radio propagation looking pretty good. Switching to your solar storm conditions and aurora possibilities over the coming week, we are anticipating the hit from that small pocket of fast solar wind from that well-formed region of a coronal hole that's rotating into the Earth's strike zone here in the next couple days. Now, at high latitudes, NOAA is expecting active conditions with up to about a 30% chance of a major storm. At mid-latitudes, we're only expecting, well, kind of unsettled to active conditions with up to about a 10% chance of a minor storm but these conditions will be very fleeting at mid-latitudes. That's because you know, we're basically at the solar minimum sun right now, and so these storms just aren't as strong as they used to be just a year or so ago. So we'll have to kind of deal with it, and I hope we get some aurora at mid-latitudes, but you're going to have to stay on your toes. Switching to your solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook over the coming week, although we do have a bright region on the Earth-facing sun right now, it is not strong enough to be classified as a sunspot, so the sun does remain spotless right now. We have no risk for big flares or radio blackouts, and this should make you GPS users on Earth's day side very happy. The one nice thing is that it is boosting the solar flux up into the marginal range for radio propagation. We are holding on to the low 70s here. Looks like toward the end of the week, we could taper off and dip into the poor range for just a couple days, but no fear. We do have another region that's going to be rotating into Earth view in about a week, and that should bump the radio propagation back up into the marginal range. Now, because we are at a solar minimum sun, we do have more cosmic ray penetration than we normally would have. So you frequent flyers, and this includes uh, you air crew who fly over 800 hours annually and fly at high latitudes and high altitudes, you are in the marginal range for radiation dose, and this does include you prenatal passengers, so please take this into consideration in your flight plans. So the space weather this week has definitely calmed down compared to last week, but we do still get another chance for a solar storm here over the next couple days, so your aurora photographers, especially at high latitudes, make sure your batteries are charged. Now, amateur radio operators and emergency responders, well, on the day side, you guys are kind of struggling with marginal radio propagation, but make sure you take advantage of the auroral propagation that'll happen during the solar storm on Earth's night side. Now, for GPS users, well, you guys should be loving life both on the day side and at low latitudes. Your reception should be fantastic here over the next couple days. But underneath Aurora, or anywhere you can see it, and also near the dawn dust terminators, things could get a little glitchy until the solar storm calms down. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.